So she goes into labor. She's rushed to the hospital. It's four weeks too early. The doctor that's supposed to catch the baby isn't there. He's also overseas, very cheap plane tickets in 1990. And the gynecologist that catches me doesn't know that I'm an adoption baby. So instead of taking me out of the room, which is what you're supposed to do when the baby is up for adoption, he puts me on my mother's chest. Last thing that you are ever supposed to do after a woman is in labor. <laughs> anyway, so many moms will tell you, my baby was the most beautiful thing I have ever seen. And I can really tell you they are not. They really are not. Um, I am in no way deceived. Harper was purple and she had a cone head. There was, really, there was nothing lovely about her. <laughs> she, um, Andres had a bit of a fright. He was like, whoa. Um, she looked like a purple Smurfy. She was, but to me, she was the most beautiful thing. Harper, my love, if you are watching this one day, there's deliverance for you. Anyway. Um, <laughs> So, for me, after 18 hours of labor, this ugly little thing is the joy that is set before me. I think she's the most beautiful thing that I've ever seen in my entire life, although she looks like Schmiegel. But, and this is exactly what happened to my mother. I was put on her chest, and she locked eyes with me, and she said, I barely even cried. And I think, you know, Babies in the womb might not be fully developed, but their spirits are fully developed. And, you know, in going through inner healing with the Lord, the Lord showed me that at the moment when I was put on my mother's chest, I already expected rejection. I already expected abandonment, you know, because your spirit is alive and fully well, knows exactly what's going on, knows exactly what, what is to be experienced through what your mother is experiencing. And so I just sort of like lock eyes with her. And in that moment, my mother's heart melts. God turns her heart and she decides.